Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about instant cameras. As I'm sure you know by now, they have made quite the comeback recently. And if you haven't seen, we just launched our own instant film shop on our site where we're selling loads of instant cameras and instant film. So I thought this would be a good time to do somewhat of a roundup and compare four of the absolute best instant cameras you can get in 2020. And this is a Taylor video, so you know we're gonna go out and shoot in a little bit to really put these cameras to the test and compare them fairly to one another. But before we do that, let's talk about all the details and specs of each of these cameras. The Polaroid now is $99.99 and it comes in seven very fun colors. This is, in my opinion, one of the cutest instant cameras on the market right now. It accepts Polaroid iType and Polaroid 600 film. It gets power from a USB charge and it's fully automatic with auto exposure and autofocus, but you do have the capability of toggling the built-in flash on and off. It also has a self timer mode for any group or party photos. And there is of course a film counter so you know exactly how many shots you have left. And there are two strap attachments for a neck or wrist strap of your choice. Next is the Lomography Instant Wide Camera. This ranges from $149.99 to $199.99 depending on the combo you choose, and it comes in either black or brown. It gets power from four AA batteries and accepts Fuji Instax wide film. Focus is totally automatic on this camera, but exposure is up to you. You can keep it automatic or switch it over to something more manual. Something that makes this camera unique is that there is a tripod mount on the bottom of the camera and the lens has a 49 millimeter filter thread. The lens cap is pretty dang cool because it actually doubles as a remote control. There is of course a film counter and if you're feeling real fun, you can use the included gel filters for some very unique looking photos. And it also has one strap attachment for a strap of your choice. If you opt in for the more expensive combo option, you will get tons of extra goodies like an ultra wide attachment, a close up attachment, and a splitzer. The Fuji SQ1 comes in at $119.95 and comes in three really awesome colors. It accepts square Instax film and gets its power from two CR2 batteries. This is a fully automatic camera with both autofocus and auto exposure. There is a built-in flash and a film counter. By twisting the lens once you turn the camera on, Another twist puts it into selfie mode so you can get a great shot with your friends with some help from the little mirror up front as well. And there are two strap attachments for a neck or wrist strap of your choice. And lastly, but certainly not least, the Fujifilm Instax Mini. This is $69.95 and comes in five sweet colors and it takes two AA batteries to operate. It accepts Fuji Instax mini film and is fully automatic with auto exposure, auto focus, and an automatic flash. The lens is a 60 millimeter with an aperture of 12.7. There is of course a film counter on this one too. And there are two strap attachments for a neck or wrist strap of your choice. And this camera also features a selfie mode. Okay, so I have all four cameras in my backpack here and we are going to walk around this cool lake right in the middle of the city and basically compare these cameras and see how they do. So I'm gonna take the same shot with each of the cameras and basically just compare them as we go. So here we go.
All right, so this first shot, we're basically gonna see how each of the cameras handles really harsh highlights on the water and shooting right into the sun. Sun went away. Should peek back out in a second. hopeful shot that I'm not willing to do right now. Go down here to the boats. One of the biggest differences you're gonna notice right off the bat are the different aspect ratios and image sizes that these cameras produce. So going from biggest to smallest, the Lomo Instant Wide is landscape orientation and the photo is 3.9 inches by 2.4 inches. The Polaroid Now is a square image and is 3.1 inches by 3.1 inches. The Fuji SQ1 is also a square, but a bit smaller coming in at 2.4 inches by 2.4 inches. And then the smallest image is of course from the Instax Mini. It is portrait orientation and is 2.3 inches by 1.75 inches. Another really obvious and standout difference that kind of screams at you looking at all four images side by side is how different the Polaroid film is from all the other three, which are Fujifilm. The Polaroid images, as you can see, just have a totally different vibe to them. The highlights are slightly purple, the colors are just different in general, and the whole image is just more muted. This isn't necessarily bad or good, it's just up to you and personal preference. I gotta get in on that. I'm having a good time. As far as functional difference, the Lomo Instant Wide is definitely going to give you more options since you can switch over to some manual controls. You do have to remember to change your focus ring on the lens depending on how far your subject is from the camera. So if you don't change this and your setting is wrong, you are going to accidentally get blurry images like this one. 
I admittedly forgot to change that focus ring a few times and got some blurry images. This isn't fun, especially when you're paying a lot of money for these film packs. So having to throw away, you know, two or three images really isn't fun. So if you do opt in for the Lomo Instant Wide, please just keep in mind that it is going to require a little more um, mental effort and time. taking a little rest in the grass and we are going to test selfie mode on all of these cameras. If you can't tell, the guy behind me is jamming to the temptations. The absolute joy that comes from shooting instant cameras is that you can just point, shoot, and have a physical image in your hand within seconds. So you can't go wrong with any of these cameras, especially in their fully automatic mode, because it is very hard to get a bad image with these cutie pies. I sincerely hope that I helped one of you looking to add an instant camera or two to your lineup. I think having one of these is really fun because they work for any and all occasions and it's just such a special thing to have an image pop out of a camera and then you like have it to hold on to. It's just, there's nothing like it. So be sure to check out our instant shop and I will of course link everything below. And last but not least, don't forget that moment straps are compatible with these cameras, at least the ones that have strap attachments of course. And so you can really build these out to look cute and be fully functional for you. So um, again, I will link everything below. So check that out and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, baby. I need to find that and sign up for that. Are you filming? <laughs>